Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. I'll have another look at that tropical system coming up in just a second, but I want to give you a look outside right now. Roanoke, our Virginia Tech Carillion Sky Cam. You can see the blue sky mixed in with the clouds. A really nice day across southwest and central Virginia, and you can compare that to yesterday when we had so much activity on the radar during our evening newscast. You can see everybody is dry across the region. That's not the case for our friends down to the south. You can see the Carolinas dealing with some thunderstorms, even, even have had some severe thunderstorm warnings like we did yesterday. So luckily to see that the uh, showers and storms have stayed away from our area it does not look like uh, the next best chance of rain moves into the area till we get to about Tuesday. We'll talk about that coming up in just a second behind a cold front. You can see the temperatures are a little bit cooler. Also the humidity levels down, so it definitely feels very comfortable outside. Uh, currently the upper 70s for Roanoke as well as Lynchburg and Danville. We're in the upper 60s to close to 70 across the New River Valley. If you live in the Highlands, it might be a little bit cooler. The upper 60s for Hot Springs and Covington right now looks like we stay pretty comfortable through the evening falling from the upper 70s to right around 70 by 10 o'clock with partly cloudy skies overhead. There might be some slight breezes out of the north over the next few hours. Overnight tonight, looks like our lows down into the 50s, so you can turn the air conditioning off. Maybe you open up the window. It's going to be feeling very comfortable. The lows uh, right about 56 in Roanoke, 57 Lynchburg and Danville. We're close to 50 degrees across the New River Valley. On Saturday, the temperature is pretty similar to what we're going to have out there today. Uh, low 80s are what we're forecasting. You can see we're going to have plenty of sunshine and no chance of rain. That's expected to be the same case on Sunday, but eventually we are going to see some warmth and humidity and maybe even some thunderstorms as we go into next week. The good news is, though, that tropical system that we've been tracking is not going to be coming our way. So let's give you a latest look at that. So that is still known as potential tropical cyclone one currently 40 mile per hour winds with gusts up to 50 miles per hour, and this is moving to the northeast at seven miles per hour. Basically what the Hurricane Center is saying is this doesn't have a well defined low level circulation, so they haven't officially been able to call it tropical storm Alex yet. They still are expecting that to happen before the storm makes landfall in Florida. You can see that's going to be happening over this upcoming weekend, and then the storm continues off to the northeast, uh, far enough away from our area that we're not going to really see uh, much of an impact from it. So here's a look at what we're tracking. Uh, basically, this cold front that we were talking about for those storms for North Carolina is keeping that system away from us. High pressure really building in over the weekend, and any frontal boundary is going to stay well away from us, so we are going to be staying mostly dry over the weekend. It is going to be pretty warm out there with our highs in the 80s. The next big thing is a cold front that's going to be coming in for the middle of next week. That is going to bump the thunderstorm chances up to about 30 to 40 percent. Our temperatures are going to be a little bit warmer, getting back into the upper 80s at some points, and the humidity is going to be bumping back up, so certainly going to be feeling like summer by the middle of next week. Okay, here's the forecast for the next 24 hours. The temperature is about 5 degrees below average overnight tonight, 56 to low, and then tomorrow pretty warm with a lot of sunshine, a high of 83. Here's your extended forecast uh, the weekend just really looking very nice, but things start to change just a little bit as we go into the new work week. Uh, the temperatures bumping up slightly and you can see those 60s on the lower part of the graphic there that indicates that the humidity is going to be bumping back up. So kind of a short reprieve from the summer.